everyone. Welcome to Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. I'm Darla. So the yarn I used for this blue one that transitions into darker blue and uh, the ball actually goes into black, but I didn't use that part. I didn't work my way down to that part. <clears throat> All right. So the yarn I used is, this is a Hobie... Um, Cotton King Sultan Shadow. This is what I have left of it. I got this in um, a lucky bag from Ho Hobby. And um, so I looked it up online. It's um, Sultan Shadow, 100% cotton. It's a sport weight. Originally, it's 200 grams in here, 875 yards. This color is number 16, which is black slash denim and so what I did was I I doubled it because they had sent me two in a lucky bag so I doubled it and this one has the loose strands so now there's eight strands together and they uh, what I do is I put um, I put a um, bead on it so that it helps to hold the strands together better as I'm crocheting Okay, so I have eight little strands there. <laughs> so um, they considered a, a sport weight, and I think even putting them together like this would be still like a sport weight or at least between a two and a three, I would say. Um, let's see. So the first four rows of this Cardi, I used a 4.5 millimeter hook. And then for the fifth and sixth rows, I changed to a five millimeter. And then the seventh row and on, I changed to a six millimeter for this, this Cardi right here. Okay, and uh, I started off with a, a 4.5 because it was easier to crochet with the smaller hook with this smaller yarn. And then I increased <clears throat> because I wanted it to work out faster, honestly. And then I increased to a six because I wanted it to maybe a little bit of a flare at the bottom. Like, um, it's very subtle, but it's, it's there. So let's talk about the yarn I used for the actual tutorial. Oh, this is the one I make in the tutorial. I used <clears throat> Caron Funnel Cakes. And uh, these are uh, medium for weight, 100% cotton. Originally in this ball is 250 grams or 425 yards. Color is waterfall. I love how it worked up. And uh, I think that's everything. I had this much left from one cake. Okay, that's all I had left. So for the tutorial and for this for this top here uh, or this cardi, I used a six millimeter crochet hook right from the top all the way down. As you work it, it gets wider and longer. And uh, I used six millimeter all the way from the top to the bottom. And for this sleeves it makes sleeves as well as you work it but I just added a couple of rows just to make them a little tiny bit longer I used for the rows I started off with a 5.5 for the first row I added and then I went to a five millimeter for the the second row that I added okay now the front there are Let's see, there are, um, there are buttonholes that are already made for you when you, when you work this, like built-in buttonholes is what I'm going to say. <laughs> so you can put buttons down the front if you wish, and I just put a button right at the very top, and, um, and you'll see me in the pictures wearing it like this with just the, you know, a button at the top. 
So I think that's everything. Let's just get into the tutorial. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna make a chain of 75. Now there's no multiples. This chain needs to fit around your neck. We're not working in the round though, but it needs to lay on your, you know, the bottom of your neck the way a cardigan would normally lay. So um, if it's not quite the right size for you, either go up a hook size or down a hook size. <clears throat> so um, we're gonna chain 75. One, two, three, four, Okay, I have uh, 75, so now I'm going to single crochet starting in the second chain from the hook, and I'm going to make single crochets all the way across this row. When you're finished your row, you will have 74 single crochets. Now as we work this garment, it's going to grow wider and longer at the same time. And then I'll be showing you where to fit it to your body to see if you need to add more rows or take away rows. Yeah, all my designs are size adjustable. Sometimes I have people asking in the comments, well, what size is this or what's the chain count? Um, I actually do mention things like that in the actual videos. Um, yeah, <laughs> so we're going to have, like I said, 74 single crochets along this row. I'll see you at the end of this row. I counted my single crochets and I have 74. So now at the end here, we're going to chain three. And that uh, represents a double crochet and then we're going to go into the very next stitch right here and put a double crochet and then we're going into the next stitch and putting a double crochet all right so now we're going to skip two stitches one two we're going to go into the next one with a V stitch so we're going to do a double crochet chain two and a double crochet in that same stitch skip two go to the next stitch with a V stitch again double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. All right, and we are two, you are three double crochets here at the beginning. And then you have two V stitches. Continue on making V stitches till you have 22 V stitches. Okay, skip the next two. Go in the next one with double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So make 22 V stitches. And when you've made your last V-stitch, you will have uh, five, you will have five single crochets left at the end. All right, I'll meet you after I'm done my 22nd V-stitch. Okay, so you will have 22 V-stitches. All right. And I put my last V-stitch in this row, and then you will have five stitches. One, two, three, four, five stitches left. <clears throat> so skip two, one, two, and then put 
the double crochet in the next three. So one double crochet and then a double crochet in the next stitch and then a double crochet in that final stitch at the end. Okay, now we're going to place some stitch markers. Okay, go all the way to the end where you started your V-stitch row. And you're going to count four V-stitches. One, two, three, four. In that fourth one, put a stitch marker. Okay, this time we're going to count five. One, two, three, four, five, and put a stitch marker in the fifth one. And then count five. One, two, three, four, five. Put a stitch marker in the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. Put a stitch marker in the fifth one. And then you will be left with one, two, three V stitches. And you just leave those alone. And the three V stitches are also on this other end here. One, two, three. So they, they match up on the ends. Okay, so let's go on to row, um, so I guess it would be row three. So row two, we made the V-stitches in the next row, it's going to be a two-row repeat. But where these stitch markers are, are going to be corners. So those will be done a little differently. All right, so let's chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work and then just put a double crochet on top of those next two double crochets. Okay, so now in this first V stitch, uh, we're going to do something around it. I've, I've uh, done this. Um, this stitch in um, something else I had made, <laughs> which I have a tutorial on. But, um, okay, let's take a look at our V-stitch. We have the double crochet, we have the chain two, and then the double crochet. So around that first double crochet, we're going to make a, a front post double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go behind that double crochet here, grab your yarn, Pull up a loop and then just finish off like you're making a double crochet. Okay, now in that chain two space in the middle, we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, so make two double crochets. And then chain two. Back in that same space, put two more double crochets. And then we have that next double crochet of that V-stitch. Make a front post double crochet around it like we did in the first one. So go be uh, yarn over, go behind your double crochet post, grab your yarn, pull through, and just finish off making a regular double crochet. So that's what that stitch looks like. All right, so let's do the next one. Here's our next V-stitch. Do a front post double crochet around it. And then the chain two in the middle, make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, and there's one double crochet. Two 
two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochets in that same space. Sorry about those stitch markers dragging. And then there's our last double crochet in that V-stitch, so we'll put a front post double crochet around it. Now it's called a front post double crochet because it pushes the, the post to the front. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next V-stitch. Right here, put your front post double crochet around that first double crochet. Then in that chain two space, put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, that was two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the middle of the V-stitch there in that chain two space. And then the last double crochet of the V-stitch, we will put a front post double crochet. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. And now the next one, which is marked with a stitch marker, is going to be your corner. Um, okay, we're going to go into the center of that V-stitch in that chain two space with two V-stitches that are separated by a chain two. All right, so make a V-stitch. So double crochet, chain two. And double crochet okay and then chain two and then we're going to make another v-stitch double crochet right in that same space chain two and then double crochet in the same space so let's take a look at that Okay, so you have your V-stitch right here, and then we've added two V-stitches into it with a chain two in the middle between them. So basically it's a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And then when you come around the next round, inside this V-stitch, the first one in here, we'll make a v-stitch and then in the center right here that's between this v-stitch and that v-stitch we will be doing the same thing we did here putting two v-stitches with a chain two in between and I will show you that when we get there and then this is the next v-stitch right here we'll be putting just one v-stitch in there on the next round so right at this point I'm going to move my stitch marker to the center of these two v-stitches we just made put it right there so when I come back around the other the next round or row I'll see where my my corner is and I'll work it the way it needs to be worked all right so let's move on to the next v-stitch we have here and we're just going to do the same thing we did over here with the front post double crochets. So we'll start with that. That's our next V-stitch. Front post double crochet around that first double crochet. And then in the chain two space, we'll make two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So that's one double crochet, two double crochet chain two and two double crochets then we have that other 
double crochet in that v-stitch so we're going to do the front post double crochet around it all right so continue on with these v-stitches doing them the same way and then when we get to the stitch marker i will recap what we did with this one all right i'll just show show you again all right so this is what your piece is looking like okay i like to i like to mark these um corners because <laughs> it's easier to find them when you're crocheting along all right, I'll meet you at this next corner. Now, here we are at the next corner. So we're going to make two V-stitches, a chain two in between the two V-stitches. Okay, so, or like I showed you, it'll be four double crochets separated by uh, two chains. All right, let's do this. <laughs> so double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. All right, so that's our first V-stitch. Then we need another one and we need a space. So we're gonna change to chain two, and then again, we're gonna make a V-stitch. A double crochet, chain two, and then a double crochet. So let's take a look at that. So that's our V-stitch here. And then we have two V-stitches separated by a chain two. That's how that works. So take out our stitch marker and put it in the middle of that middle chain two. Okay, so we know where we're at on our next round. Okay, then you're gonna do your front posts and things like you did before over here in all the next V stitches until you get up to your um, corner and then do your front posts and things like you did before in these stitches and then there's another V so you'll do a corner and then do your front post and things <laughs> on these next three and then put a double crochet on top of each of these double crochets those three and I'll meet you at the this end. I'm coming to the end of row three, counting that single crochet row as row one, and then row two, row three. I've put the double crochets on top of these two double crochets, and then I'll make a double crochet on top of that chain three or double crochet at the end there. Okay, so we're going to be starting and ending each row with three double crochets. And now I'm going to chain three and turn my work. And put a double crochet on top of the next double crochet and the next one. Now we have this. Remember it's a two row repeat. Repeat row two and three. So now we're gonna repeat row two. We're just going to yarn over and go right into that center, that chain two space right there with a V-stitch. Okay, so double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. This will be the fast row. <laughs> Now you're going to jump over all this 
and go in that chain to your space with a v-stitch double crochet chain two double crochet okay we're going to keep doing that go right into this chain two space with a v-stitch double crochet chain two double crochet that's what your row will look like okay now the next stitch we're going to be working in is our corner our v-stitches here so the, this is a v-stitch and that's a v-stitch separated by a chain two all right, so this first V-stitch, we're gonna put a V-stitch in there. All right, so double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so the next thing we have is this chain two space where our, ch our stitch marker is. We're gonna put two V-stitches in there separated by a chain two. All right, so double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and that's our first V-stitch. And then we're going to separate it by chain two, so chain two, and then we're going to make another V-stitch in there. So double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Okay, and then we have this other V-stitch right here. So we're gonna go down the hill and put a V-stitch into that V-stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my stitch marker and I'm gonna move it to See this V-stitch here, it has these two V-stitches in it, separated by that chain two. I'm going to put that stitch marker right there in that chain two space. Okay. And so now we're going to jump right over to the chain two space of this stitch and put a V-stitch in there. Crochet, chain two, double crochet. Next chain two space is right here. Put a V, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Go in that next chain two space and with a V stitch. Double crochet. Chain two, double crochet. Go in the next chain two space with a V stitch. Double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Okay, now we have our stitch marker, so we know this is our corner where we're gonna do the V stitches. So the first V-stitch is right here. So we're gonna put a V-stitch in there. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And then that's that chain two space that separate the two V-stitches that are in this one V-stitch. Okay, so in the chain two space, we put two V-stitches separated by chain two. So double crochet, chain two, then double crochet. That's one V-stitch. Then we chain two to separate them. And then we put our next V-stitch, which is a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet.
And then we have one more V-stitch right here, so we'll just put a V-stitch in there. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay. So there we have it. We have one double crochet there, one double crochet there, a chain two space there, a double crochet there, I mean a V-stitch, okay, let me do that again. A V-stitch here, a V-stitch here, a chain two space, a V-stitch here, and a V-stitch here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my stitch marker out. And then where I have those V stitches right here inside this one with the chain two. I'm going to put the ch uh, stitch marker in that chain two space. Okay, now we're going to continue on making V stitches in the tops of all these chain two spaces of these stitches. I don't know what those stitches are called. Do you know? All right, double crochet, chain two. Double crochet. And then do that again in the next chain two space, and the next chain two space, and the next chain two space, and then we're back at our corner. Alright, so this is what this row will look like. Okay, we got our corner that's turning our work. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so now I have uh, completed the row to repeat. And I'm at the end and I've made those three double crochets. And we're gonna chain three, turn our work. And then we're gonna make double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch so now we're going to be repeating row three <laughs> right one two three repeating row three all right so we have this v-stitch we're going to do a front post double crochet around the first double crochet of that v-stitch just like we did before and then in the center of that v-stitch in that chain two space we'll be making two double crochets sorry about that it's getting hung up two double crochets and chain two and two double crochets. And then around that next, the last double crochet in that V-stitch, we'll be putting a front post double crochet. Okay, let's go to the next V-stitch front post double crochet and then in that chain two space two double crochet chain two two double crochet front post double crochet <laughs> around that double crochet there that's ending the v-stitch okay go next to the next v-stitch make a front post double crochet around that first double crochet in the center in that chain two space 
with two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet. And then we're going to go around that a second double crochet of that V stitch and do the front post double crochet around it. And there we go. And now <clears throat> this is our corner. Okay, you know that by the stitch marker here? All right, so we have a V stitch here. And if you follow it down, it goes to that starting V stitch. So that means we're going to put a V stitch in there. So we'll do our double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. <laughs> and then our next V stitch is right here. So we'll put a V stitch in there. So we're climbing up the hill, is what we're doing. <laughs> All right, now we have our stitch marker right here. That's that chain two space. So we'll be putting two double crochets in there, separated by a chain two. I'm, excuse me, I think it, did I say that wrong? Two V stitches separated by a chain two. Okay, so do your first V stitch. and then chain two and then do your second V stitch in that same space okay and then we're going to jump over to the next V stitch which is right here looks like a V. So we're going to put a V stitch in there. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, then we have this next V stitch here. It's in this V stitch below. So we'll put a V stitch in there. Now we have this V stitch, but it's on top of this stitch. So we're going to do, we're going to repeat this stitch around this one here. So that's where we make our front post. Double crochet. Well, let's move our stitch marker. Okay. Move my stitch marker up to the middle of these two V stitches right here. Okay. All right, we're getting back to the stitch. We've done our front post double crochet. So we're gonna go in the center in this chain two space with two double crochet chain two, one, two, and two double crochets. And then we're going to do the front post double crochet around this last double crochet in that V stitch. So that's how it's looking. Okay, go to the next V stitch, front post double crochet, 
two double crochet, <clears throat> excuse me, chain two, two double crochet, and then a front post double crochet. Okay, go to the next one. Front post double crochet, and then two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then front post double crochet. And we have the next one, front post double crochet, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and a front post. And then we are now up to our corner again. As you can see, this V stitch is in a V stitch, is in a V stitch. All right, so put a V stitch in that first V stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And there's our two V-stitches separated by that chain two. Put a V-stitch in this first V-stitch. And then in that V that chain two, we're going to put two V-stitches separated by a chain two. So double crochet, chain two. Crochet, that's our first V stitch there. Chain two and make another V stitch. Okay, then our next V stitch is here, so we'll put a V stitch in there. So this is what helps your, your item grow wider and longer. Okay, so we have another V-stitch here that's still part of the corner because it's in a V-stitch, in a V-stitch. All right, so put a V-stitch in there. stitch marker that's where we have those two V stitches separated by this chain two put your stitch marker in that chain two between them okay now we're back to these these V stitches that are connected to this stitch and we're going to repeat that stitch all right front post Double crochet around that uh, double crochet. In the middle, in this chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then we have this last part of that V-stitch. So front post double crochet around there. And continue on. 
like this, and they'll meet you after I've made a few rows. Now when you get to a certain point where you've made several rows, I made, okay, I just counted them, how many? I think there was 11, counting that single crochet row at the top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, I've made 11 rows, and I'm about a medium, medium, between a medium and a large maybe, but you must try it on at this at this point um, or before this. It depends on your size. If you're smaller, smaller than me, you might try it on sooner. Um, so what happens here is this is how it looks. See, it grows wider and um, longer. Okay, so we're gonna try it on. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And uh, then we'll get going on the next next rows. Okay, so here's what your piece should look like. Okay, so what you do is you put it. Uh, let's see how you put it on you like this. Okay, it's open in the. Friends. Okay, I just got this tangled up. Oops. <laughs> okay. So it's open in the front, right? And you could put buttons if you wish. Okay. And there's the back. So then what you do is you Pull the sides together like this. The side, side, the front and the back is what you're you're pulling together. Those points, okay. And then you're gonna look at yourself and see. We're gonna be starting to work just back and forth, straight across, back and forth. So you want to make sure it's going to fit your body because, um, okay, we're going to start working all the way around here at the bottom. We're going to connect here on both sides and work this way and then turn your work and go back and uh, make as many rows as you want to make it the lengths you want. All right. So, um, Let's see and make sure if you do want it to close make sure you have enough rows made already so that it's going to close I did make it so that this would overlap all right so I believe this is gonna be a good size for me where's that This will still be able to close a bit. The way I'm holding, was holding it, it kind of pulled apart there. All right, so that is what we're going to do next to uh, make the rest of the lengths on it. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, I've taken my piece and I've folded it over like I had it on my shoulders in the previous clip. All right, so this is the front of it. This is the opening. And now I'm going to take the front part here and the back part and right at those corners we are just going to pin those together with um, a stitch marker um, whatever you have to pin it together. So make sure you grab the, the point, the exact point, which is right here. That's that chain two between those two 
um, three stitches. And this is just to guide us as we're crocheting along. There's the other point, and then we'll do the same. You'll we'll do the same on the other side. And then what you do is where you left off. Um, let's see. Make sure I'm in the camera range here. Where you left off. Well, I'm going to show that to you too, but um, we're going to actually chain three and turn our work around and then continue working on the same way we did before with the, the next row would be the V stitches. It would go in here and then the V stitches and the V stitches, but I will show you all that. All right, and then we're going to make our um, sweater, cardigan, jacket, um, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> longer this way. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so this is where we left off. And then we're going to do our chain three. This is the, the opening of the sweater here. So with chain three we're going to do. And then we're going to turn our work. And then we're going to put a double crochet into each of those next double crochets. Two of them there. So we have a total with that chain three of three double crochets. Okay, so we have this now, this cluster. I'm going to put a V stitch in there. So it's a double crochet, chain two, a double crochet. Because we're repeating those, um, the two row repeat again. Go in the next cluster, make your V stitch. Your next cluster, make your V stitch. And then if you look here, you have all these V stitches going down. Put a V stitch in the V stitches. So this row, other than the three double crochets in the very beginning and at the end of the row, are just V stitches. All right, so continue making your V stitches. And then when we get to the corner, I'll show you how to attach those together. Okay. Now I've put that V stitch row in up to the corner where we're going to connect together. There's my last V stitch in this one. So we're going to connect that corner together. So we're going to put a double crochet in that V stitch that you've got connected. Okay, a double crochet. And then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to make the other half of that V stitch over here where you have your stitch marker connected. So that is just a V stitch that is linked over two stitches. Okay, so from this point, I, I actually just want to show you this. Um, this is your underarm or where your arm goes through. This is your shoulder. So um, you may have to sew, I know I will have to sew a little bit, you know, to close that in unless you like to have it open. It's up to you. <laughs> and um, 
yeah. So let's let's continue on for a bit here. So we have a, a V stitch there. We'll put a V stitch in that one. And then we'll just continue doing that all the way around this row. And then when you get to the end of this row, you'll have those three double crochets and just put three double crochets into those at the opening of the top. Okay, just continue on doing that. When you get up to your clusters here, put V stitches in those. V stitches in all your V stitches. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, now I'm at the end of, this would be my row 12. You may have a different row number because you're making it to fit you, right? So, um, yeah, you may have a different row number. You may need it to make more, more rows up here or less rows, depends on your size. Okay, so now at the end here, I've done the last V stitch into this cluster type thing. And then we have these three double crochets at the end, so we'll make a double crochet in each of those. And then that chain three at the end counts as a double crochet. Okay, so now we have the three double crochets. We're gonna chain three. We're gonna turn our work around. Okay, then we're gonna double crochet in the next double crochet. Gonna double crochet in the next double crochet. So we have our three double crochets. And then we have this V-stitch that's in this cluster set, means we meet, need to make a cluster in this V-stitch. Okay, so make a front post double crochet, just like before. And then make two double crochet, chain two, in that chain two space in the middle of that V-stitch. Okay, so two double crochets. The chain two two double crochets and then that front post double crochet around that last stitch in that B stitch. All right, this so this is the second row of the two row repeat. Here we have the V stitch in our cluster, <clears throat> so we know we're going to make a cluster in there. Front post double crochet, two double crochets in that chain two space, in the middle of that V stitch, chain two, two double crochets. And then front post double crochet around that last stitch in that V stitch. All right, so continue doing all that. This is a V stitch and there's our cluster. So you know you need to make a cluster in here. The next V stitch is connected to all these V stitches. So you go ahead and make a V stitch in all those ones that are connected to V stitches all the way down. So then I'll meet you at that corner that we put connected together. All right, so this is that second row of the two repeat we were working on. And now we've made it to we've made where we've made that that V stitch that connects our pieces together on the side. So we're just going to go right into, right into that right here. 
and we're going to make a, a v-stitch like before so this is a double crochet chain two double crochet okay and then go into your next v-stitch it's a v-stitch all the way down so just make a v-stitch Continue on with your V-stitches. And then when you get to, <clears throat> excuse me, when you get to these where you have the V-stitch and the cluster underneath, you know you need to make a cluster in there. And the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And then these V-stitches go all the way down, so you put V-stitches in these. All right, so I'm going to continue on making making um, several rows to make it the lengths that I desire. All right, and uh, you do the same thing. You could actually just, you know, make a couple of rows and then it'll be like a short, um, just a short sh shrug, maybe you could call it. Just, just it goes under your, your girls. Um wear a long tank top or something underneath it or you can make it longer to your waist or or longer to the back of your knees <laughs> if you want yeah you can do so many things there's so many things you can do and I, and I love how you guys get so creative with with um my designs and others designs as well all right I'll be back now, I think I told you in the video that um, that I made 11 rows and then tried it on and it, uh, I well, it fit, but um, I decided to make it just a little tighter on me. So I took out two rows. All right, so I end up with nine plus the double crochet row at the top and all together now I have made I just wrote it down 18 rows not counting the single crochet row if we count that I made 19 rows from the neck to the bottom which makes it a shorty a sweater that comes up to about my belly button you can make it longer you can make it as long as you want whatever you would like for yourself or if you're making it for a friend or someone yeah all right so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna leave the bottom the way it is I think and uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it inside out because we have a little bit of sewing to do under the arms because there's gonna be a bit of a, a gap that you may not want or you may want. All right, so this is the sleeve. Okay, so this is the sleeve. Just have to pull this back a bit. All right, so your arm comes out here. This is the shoulder. And underneath there, there's just a little bit of a part there that you need to sew up if you want, just to close it up a bit. So I've marked mine. Uh, this is the stitch marker we had when we pulled the front and the back together. And I've since tried it on again. Try it on, try it on, you know, several times until you have it the way you want it. And so I've put a stitch marker two V-stitches up from that bottom stitch marker. And that's where I want to sew right from here down to there. Um, just to close it up under the arm hole there okay so i usually maybe take four times the yarn that four times the okay where i'm sewing it together here i times that 
length, I guess, by four, usually three or four, four, I think, and cut off a piece of yarn. So I'm not wasting too much yarn. This should be more than enough. So, thread my needle. And then I'm just gonna try to go through a couple of strands on each side. Tie this piece and sew it in after. Oops. Okay, I can take this out right now. I can take the next one out too. So yeah, just gonna sew like that across the, this opening. It's better if you grab two strands, like two strands on each side if you can. It just would make it more secure. And so go ahead and do that. When I get to the end of this uh, this space I'm sewing up, I'm just going to knot it off and then slide my needle in just to weave in the yarn tail. Yeah, so continue to do that. So I'm at the end of that opening here, so I'm just going to... Oh, can you see that? I'm just going to put a... Just put a knot in there and then go back into that seam we just did. And then, then I'll just go back again that way. And cut it off. Oh, did you see that? Was I, I hope I wasn't at a camera shot. <laughs> All right, and then do the other side the same way. And uh, I will meet you after that's done. All right, now we're at the sleeves. Now you can make long sleeves if you want. Um, I'm just going to make hmm, a couple of rows of the same, of the V-stitches and these little, I don't know what they're called, these little fan type, whatever we're making. I don't know what they're called, I'm sorry. So I've been using a six millimeter throughout this. So now I'm going to go down. This actually says 5.5. .5. It's rubbed off. I'm going to use a 5.5 .5 for the first row around here. And then I'm going to go to a five for the next row. And it should help it just pull it in just a little. It's going to be so slight, but um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's see. So we're going to put V stitch in the V stitch and v-stitches in tops of these just like we've been doing throughout the the uh, sweater all right so we have a v-stitch uh, there's a v-stitch there v-stitch no that's not a v-stitch this is a v-stitch um, <laughs> that's a v-stitch Okay, so I'm just going to start, so this is a V-stitch right here, I'm just going to start right here, and just put, put a V-stitch in there, and you just want to make the same number of stitches around each sleeve, of course, because otherwise one will be tighter than the other. chain three and then chain two more so it's a double crochet chain two go back in that spot Let's see so that will be your first V stitch and then we have a V stitch right here so we'll just go right over there and make a V stitch And the next 
next V stitch with a V stitch. So you're going to be making V stitches all the way around here. It's uh, just the same pattern as the body. I just want to make the sleeves just slightly longer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so just continue doing that. And I'll meet you at the next row. Or at the end of this row. Okay, I'm at the end of that first row there where we did the uh, V-stitches all the way around. You know, I was looking at this and um, thinking if we take that one V-stitch away, there's going to be too much of a space in there, so I guess I'll leave it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now we're going to slip stitch. Where are we? Slip stitch into that chain three of that V and then slip stitch into the center. And then we're gonna, oh, we're gonna change hooks. Well, I'm gonna change hooks, you don't have to. I'm gonna go to a five millimeter. All right, I've grabbed my five millimeter. So now I'm gonna whoop, chain three. One, two, three, and then two more. It's a double crochet, chain two. Go back in that V stitch with another double crochet. Go in the next V stitch with a double uh, V stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And now, if, if it tightens it up um, using the different um, different hooks, it's going to be very subtle. Subtle. I mean, it's going to do something because there's smaller hooks, right? <laughs> it's got to be doing something. And I do notice in uh, when I go up hook sizes for tops that the bottom of the top starts to flare just a tiny bit, but it you know, it gives you that ex little bit of extra room for whatever you, you may need it for, right? <laughs> ah. So let's just put a V-stitch in every V-stitch until we get to those fan stitches or whatever they're actually called. I don't know. Anyway, almost there. We are there. All right. So let me straighten this out. Okay. So here we have the V-stitch is going all the way down. So you put a V-stitch in there. And the next one you can see. Oh, no, you can't. All right. So your V-stitches are going all the way down. So put a V-stitch there. And the next one you have that that other stitch in here and then the v-stitch so that's where you want to put that that other stitch we did just like we did in the body so make your um, back post double crochet front post I'm sorry front post double crochet and then then make your two double crochets in that chain two space chain two two double crochets all in that same chain two space and then do your back post front post I'm sorry front post double crochet around that double crochet all right in the next one as well do the front post double crochet oh. Front post double crochet, 
two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in that chain two space. And then the front post double crochet around the double crochet just like we've been doing. So here's two more of those to do that in and then go back to your um, putting V stitches in the V stitches. And then you'll be done that row unless you want to make your sleeve longer or even like right down to your wrist. You just continue doing this and try it on, and, and if you want to use smaller hooks as you're going down to taper your sleeve a little bit more, um, like do several, I would say to do like maybe four rows, say do four rows, four or five rows of a five millimeter, then four or five rows of a 4.5, and then a four millimeter, yeah, but... Yeah, just experiment if you like. All right, um, I'm gonna finish this one off. I meet you at the end of this row and then I'll do the other sleeve off camera and then I'll be back. Now I just wanted to film this little part when you get to the end of your sleeve. I'm just, I'm sure you know this, but you just slip stitch into that first stitch you made and then chain one pull up your yarn and sew that in later yeah and so that sleeve is done I am going to leave it like this this is um, what the design will be across your shoulder and then down onto your arm a little bit. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, now we're going to put just a simple single crochet row around the opening. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here, that's the bottom, and just go up with single crochet, spacing them out as evenly as possible. Go around the neck, Go around the neck and back down and then all the way down to the other side of the front. So let's do that. Okay. <laughs> I always have a hard time placing my stuff because it's like right on the edge of the table. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm going to use the six millimeter. That's the the hook I used um, throughout this, except on the sleeves there. Okay, so make a slip knot. And and then I'm just going to Start making single crochets. Pull your yarn through, chain one, and then uh, you can go over your tail. I'm not going to. <laughs> Make a single crochet in that first stitch, and then just space your single crochets out as you go all the way along. And then what I like to do after I have a few of them done, or more than what I just did, but I like to check back and make sure it's not wavy, because then that means you have too many single crochets in there. And I'm just, um, I'm not going through the spaces, I'm going between the loops.
and you don't want them to be too far apart either because you don't want your um, your edge to start scrunching up you know so continue doing that um, yeah so I'll finish that off camera now I've done one side of the front and then when we get to this corner up here um, so I didn't do the back bump <laughs> so we're I'm going to just put I guess put three double crochets in that corner to help it take us around that corner Alright, if you made a chain like I did, do it however you do it. You can put, I mean, you're still going to have a space if you go under one chain or both. Let's see, I'm going to go under both. Um, yeah, I didn't do the back bump because I started this tutorial before I put the, let's see, ah, that looks alright, before I put the video up on working in the back bump because I have seen it done and uh, I never tried to learn and then the other day I was like okay I'm gonna try to learn and it's it's simple but it's slow moving at first um, but I want to try going in the back bump if you haven't seen that video I will connect it below so you can take a look. I show a comparison of when you make your chain. If you just crochet into the top of the chain or the um, two loops at the top of the chain. Or if you go in that back bump. I'll show you the comparison. And it really does look a lot nicer when you go in the back bump from what I discovered. Oh yeah. All right, so continue making your single crochet all the way around. See how it gives you a nice corner when you put three single crochets in the corner. It helps you go around the corner. And once you've completed your single crochet row, you are done. If you'd like to add a button at the top like I did or buttons all the way down, you can go ahead and do that because we have a built-in border, a built-in buttonhole border. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for joining me.